Hi guys, it's Sally and in today's video I am going to be recommending some horror book recommendations because it's Halloween and I'm actually dressed as a cat but my ears keep going backwards. But the first book that I'm going to recommend to you is one of my all-time favorites especially because I really really love the historical story of the plot. On November 13th, 1974, Ronald DeFeo Jr. shot and killed six members of his family. And this is the neighborhood called Amityville on the south shore of Long Island, New York. And he was convicted of murder, obviously. But the story of the Amityville horror is actually set after a family moves into this house. Now, one of the best things about the whole story is that these murders that DeFeo committed all of the family members were actually asleep and it's quite strange that if members of a family are being shot, how others can stay asleep. It is likely that when shots are being fired, people wake up at the sound. This particular gun did not have anything like a silencer. So why were all the people sleeping? And that is extremely strange. But the book itself gets stranger. This book and a lot of books that I'm going to recommend today are actually available on Storytel, which is an audiobook platform that I use. I understand that most of these books are extremely expensive on Amazon. They are about 500, 600 mostly. So if you want to get access to them as audiobooks, there's a free trial link in the description below. Storytel.com slash Ali will give you a 30 day free trial to listen to this horrific tales of ghosts and spiritual world. The next book that I want to recommend is a book by Ruskin Bond. This is When Darkness Falls and Other Stories. And this is one of the best books that I have read by Ruskin Bond which are on the horror theme. Ruskin Bond is a very versatile author. He has written all types of books. But When Darkness Falls and Other Stories re remains my favorite. This is the book that I am going to recommend to anyone who wants to read an easy book of horror. Jay Anson's book is easy I would say for people who actually read but not that easy for beginners. But When Darkness Falls and Other Stories is the perfect read for any beginner. So if you want to go for it, just, just read it, okay? The short stories in this book are spooky but not as spooky that will actually take sleep away from your eyes at night. So it's the perfect read for anyone who is a bit of a scaredy cat and wants to get started reading horror books. The next book that I'll recommend is Exorcist. I'm sure all of you know about Exorcist, especially if you don't know about Exorcist, you definitely know about that scene where the head is overturned. That scene is extremely scary. Well, I saw the movie, but I would have to say the book is better. Like the movie itself is more like a gross depiction of the things that happened than actual scary but the book is really really scary so i am the person who will say all that the book is always better than the book but in this case it is really really true and those of you who have actually read the book exorcist will agree with me next book that i'll recommend is lottery and other stories by shirley jackson once again this is a book that i read on storytel lottery is a beautiful story it's a beautiful horror story and when Shirley Jackson actually published this short story in the New York Times uh, she was spammed with hate messages and death threats because people were pissed off at the short story that's how this story actually impacted them if you want to avoid spoilers I will leave a time in here and you can just skip to there but if you want some spoilers, here's what Lottery is about. It's a village which has gathered for some sort of a celebration. And it's a really, really happy aura. Like for the first part, like for the first three fourth of the book, it's extremely happy. But the worst part about this short story is that at the end, we realize that the celebration for which they had gathered is the random stoning of a particular person. And it's, it is shocking. It is shocking. From the celebratory mood, it suddenly becomes a gory tale of the townspeople actually killing a woman randomly because her name came out in the lottery. And it is quite understandable why people got pissed off at this. And one can actually understand why people got pissed about this story. It somewhere reflects us and our society as a whole. Not just parts of the society which are uncivilized, but this is actually quite a civilized place and this lottery is taking place there and uh, sometimes it is true that sometimes the lottery actually takes place even in our society where innocent people are killed for no reason at all and that is the power of this story it is horror based in reality i think lottery is the perfect example of stephen king's famous quote 
we make up horrors to help us cope with the real ones this book that i'll recommend is this book by roald dahl and this is one of the best psychological thrillers that i have ever read not a thriller actually it's like a psychological horror short story collection especially the first part and i think the first part is called kiss kiss such a sweet and romantic name for a collection of horrific kissed tales that i've ever read my favorite has to be this one when there is a when there is this elevator and this woman actually leaves her husband to die in that elevator and she does it in a way that you actually don't understand that this has actually happened so it is one of the best stories in this book this also has this famous story called lamb to the slaughter because this was in the icsc syllabus so a lot of you might be knowing about it roald dahl's book is a must read for any halloween celebration i guess because it's it's just bizarre it's just bizarre the next book that i'll recommend is dead girls of hysteria hall this book is really good it's very easy in language and the best part about this book is how it takes its root in historical tradition but makes it a bit modern so i am pretty sure that you guys know about how hospitals mental hospitals in particular used to work in the past women were sent to mental hospitals for you know the basic the most basic reason sometimes they were sent to a hospital for having opinions and sometimes they were actually sent to mental hospitals because they had some disease instead of being treated at home and the thing is these mental hospitals actually treated them so bad that even if they went without any mental issues they actually developed them while they stay at the hysteria hall and it was a crazy place to live at so this is the setting of dead girls of hysteria hall but this is way after these things have happened there's this girl who actually inherits the hysteria hall and she goes there and things start happening to her the book is written very brilliantly it's very easy to read and it's very fast paced and yeah i would recommend this book to you if you want a light horror read it's not like extremely spooky but yeah some parts are really good in this book the next writer that i have to recommend to you and you can pick any horror book by this author and this author is edgar allan poe he has written some of the best horror tales ever and yeah make sure you read them i have listened to a lot of edgar allan poe stories in bengali as well because there's this show called sunday suspense and i have forgotten the title of the story so please leave leave it in the comment below if you can recognize but this is about a woman uh, who is the sister who becomes the ghost in this book and i have totally forgotten the title of the short story and this is a moment that really bothers me a lot the next book that i'll recommend is actually a short story <laughs> this is a short story called the yellow wallpaper once again if we talk about women and mental health this takes a brilliant form you know the primary treatment for mental illnesses in the past used to be you know restricting women to an extent that they don't socialize at all which is actually the opposite of what should have been done so there's this woman who is sort of oppressed by her husband she has some mental issues and her husband actually restricts her to the home he doesn't let her write he doesn't let her read and the last scene in this book where there is sort of a revelation it is scary af and i i won't say anything about it just guys read it next book that i recommend is it ah <laughs> it was the next book that i recommend is it by stephen king and this book is a book that i have read only the first half of but it's scary scary it's scary i've also watched the movie of this one and it was also very good now the thing is if you are reading it be prepared for a lot of unnecessary descriptions like stephen king is famous for unnecessary descriptions because otherwise how would you fill so many like thousands of pages like it's crazy but it's worth it uh, i am not a stephen king fan sorry so i have not read anything else apart from it but this is something that i'll recommend i did watch a couple of movies like stephen king is probably the only author whose books movies i have watched more than i have read his books the next book is a novella that i'll recommend and this is called dr jekyll and mr hyde this is sort of a psychological horror once again there's no ghost per se but it's very horrific there's this man who is a scientist and his personality actually dissociates so dr jekyll is the good part of of him and mr hyde is the scary the gory and the part of him that he wants to hide so all of us have this good and evil in us what if the good and evil actually dissociate and the evil takes a form of its own it is going to be legend wait for it daddy i can't wait to see what happens if my evil comes out but i hope that doesn't happen because i love the world in general
The last book that I'll recommend is a selected short stories of Maple Press. This is a book that you can get if you want to read complex short stories. Ruskin Bond's short stories are pretty easy. Shirley Jackson's are on a medium level, but these short stories are actually written in a complex language because most of them actually date from the 19th century or uh, early 20th century. So the language is a bit different and difficult. So yeah, that would be all the recommendations for today's video, guys. Give this video a big fat thumbs up if you like it. All the links to buy all these books are in the description below. So go check it out if you want to. I'll be back with another video next week. A link to try out Storytel for free will be in the description below as well. And yeah, I hope you enjoy Halloween. Bye bye from my ears, which were not even visible throughout the video.